I'm not gonna lie, this place has made me feel a little bit sad. I'm just so shocked. It's on the one hand, so beautiful. The place is a ghost town. I've never seen so many empty shops. Today, I'm in a place called Tauranga. Now, Tauranga is New Zealand's fifth biggest city in terms of population. I took a flight here from Wellington. It's a gloriously sunny day, and already so much has happened. A huge shout out to the taxi driver who took me here from the airport. He was an absolute legend. So I'm here exploring this wonderful city, seeing the sights of Tauranga, and I've been told that this is the home of New Zealand's best fish and chips. So join me as we explore New Zealand's sunny city in search of the greatest fish and chips. Now, first things first, I've spotted some street art already. Let's check it out. Let's see what it is. Okay, looks good. Looks nice. Don't know who it is. Oh, mate, thank you so much. Here we have Station 83, Bar and Eatery. You can't park there, lads. What are you doing? I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. J A Ben. Well, I said I wasn't gonna try, but I did anyway, ridiculous. The Crown and Badger. That's a classic name for a pub. Just pick two inanimate objects. Well, actually, Badger's not inanimate, but there we go. Oh, look at this. Where are we going down here? We've got a Vietnamese place called Nectar. Okay, this must be the central bit of Todonga. What have we got? We've got a, okay, there's a jeweler, a manufacturing jewelers above a pub. Nice. We've got a tattoo shop called Curiosity. That looks pretty cool, actually. Very nice. We've got, look, see, this is nice. This is somewhere that I could see myself sitting of an evening, couple of drinks, lovely. We've got Thai Tani Tu, that's a tongue twister, Farvina, and Chuknuk, Korean chicken. On this side, we've got the Hop House, Dumplings, Delight, and Adarang Sushi. Okay, a nice blend of different cuisines. I'm very, very impressed. We've got a hair care place there, and I can't see the name of this place, but they're selling La Fer coffee. What's it called? Midnight Sun, is it? I don't know. Oh, hello. Told on an art gallery. Well, I'm going to have to check this out, aren't I? Let's have a quick look in the art gallery, shall we? Let's have a little gander in here. Oh, it's closed. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I have noticed quite a lot of construction. Well, there's a bike and a half. Look at that. Wow. There is quite a lot of construction going on. Not sure what that's about. Yet again, the people are proving to be amazing. Also, just quickly, look at this on the ground. Little mosaics. Another mosaic there. Wow. All along the floor, there seem to be these lovely little mosaic style art pieces. I could have just called them mosaics, couldn't I, really? But how cool is that? Nice touch. What have we got here? High Street Boutique. Colonial Antiques. Okay. We've got some expensive things in there. Wow. A clothes place. I know they say don't point the camera at the floor, but look at these mosaics. Nuts. House of Travel. And what else have we got? We've got Spring Street Arcade. I'll tell you what, let's have a little gander in the arcade, shall we? Let's pop in there. Look at the... I don't know if I'm just going way overboard here, but the flooring, the outside flooring is so nice. Patterns, mosaics, colours. What is going on? Right, Spring Street Arcade. What have you got for us? A few different things by the looks of it. Let's find out. Okay. We've got a jeweler's, which is a closing down sale, that's a shame. We've got the, what's this, Amortai, Red, okay, the name of the day, Danny or Hope, half price drinks. Sadly, my name is not Danny, and it's also not Hope, so I won't be getting any half price drinks. I do like those places though that do that. An optician's there, and here we've got absolutely nothing. Wonderful. 
cheeky ANZ across the road. Oh, let's go and check out that sculpture, shall we? What's that about? Looks pretty cool. So you see what I mean when I said, okay, I, I, I do regret the Miami comparison. That was probably a bit overboard even for me. But the palm trees and the sunshine, I mean, maybe? Right, what is this? This looks cool. Nice little water feature there. Quite relaxing. Titaha Otorika. Oh, sorry, Turukura. Well, happy with that. Nice. They've got Escada hair, footloose, lanterns, lingerie, and swimwear, and a little long espresso and eatery. First impressions this is a summery place. I'm not just saying that because of the sun, but the marina, the waterfront, and the good weather all lend itself to being the kind of city that you'd want to be in on a nice summer's day. Todonga, I'm already very, very impressed. Kiwi Bank, nice. New Zealand Post, and also Stratum Consultants. Not really sure what they're consulting about, but I'm sure they're doing a good job. So well done you. Okay, oh, hang on a minute. I can see something in the sign and shape of the London Underground. Piccadilly Arcade, well that I have to see. Piccadilly Arcade, what have you got? Let's find out. Okay, through the doors we go. We've got a shoe repairs. Oh, we've got a nothing. Oh, that barber's looks good. That barber's looks very good. We've got another nothing. When I say nothing, by the way, I'm not being harsh. I just mean they're closed down. That's also a nothing. God, there's a lot of, a lot of closed down shops, I have to say. Oh, a bridal boutique. Very nice. And some cards. Who doesn't love a good card? Oh, these smell nice. Catnip. Wow. Chamomile, spearmint. Pretty cool. Now we've got Atomic. Let's try our new Oreo shake. I might have to. I'm a sucker for a good milkshake. What else have we got? Another nothing. Toad on a food co-op. A hair place called the Hair Hut. Very good. Alteration station. I like it. Another nothing. There's a lot of nothings here. Boho store. Wow, they sell some things. Pinoy street food. Now that is Filipino. Excellent. Well, another place that's empty. Not good. And another place that's empty. What have we got here on the left? We've got a place that's totally empty. And another place that's empty. And a clothes place that says Mega Sale Classic Couture. Nice, okay. All right, there's, a, there's quite a few empty places. What's this on the right? Oh, that one's empty, okay. That's a bit, that's a bit, uh, yeah. Straight hair co. Well, I can't go there, I've got curls. Quest, they do apartments, that's nice. Ooh, House of Pain. Okay, building New Zealand's largest mass timber office building. I'm not sure who's filling that. Oh, nice barber shop there. That's pretty good. Sichuan style restaurant, happy days. And what have we got on the right here? We've got a two degrees and we've got another place with nothing in it. And next door, another place with nothing in it. I'm noticing a theme here, Todonga. A lot of places with, what's this one? Oh, yep, another place with nothing in it. Wow. But what's this next door? Oh, it's, it's another place with nothing in it. Okay, a little bit um, distressing. A sports bar, and next door, there's a place with, you guessed it, nothing. Now in this one, we've got nothing. And here we've got golden rice Thai cuisine, looks good. Over the road there, we've got One Tree Bakery, Midtown Mini Mart, and Turkish To Go, plus Sushi Queen. What's this? Card Merchant, wow. Pokemon. See, I used to love Pokemon when I was a kid. It was my favorite thing ever. Abracababra, there's one of those in Wellington. It's really nice. And we've got a uh, elite school of beauty and spa. Oh, those apartments look nice, don't they? They look really cool. I think they're being built still. I mean, obviously. Now, like anyone, I love a good pun. We're in the Bay of Plenty and there's a watch place and it's called Baywatch. Love it. Now this construct, oh, here we go. 
Wednesday to Friday, 1 p.m. till late. Right, I'm coming in there later. But first, dessert. Right, I am go. Let's have a quick look at the menu, shall we? What have we got? Chocolate lava s'more, creme brulee, peach parfait. Okay, okay, I'm coming back to this place, definitely. Wow. Dam da fusion Korean cuisine. And what have we got up here? We've got, I mean, that is the biggest sign for a shop I think I've ever seen. Rock shop. I'm pretty sure they exist in Wellington too, I'm not sure. We've got a place called N-O-O-D. And what's that over the road? The baby factory. The baby factory. That's how, that's how babies are made. Right. Big shout out to Corey. Absolute legend. Just bumped into him. He's working away in construction here in Tauranga. Gave me some recommendations and showed some nice support. Corey, you're a legend. Thank you so much. Now we've got another empty unit here. But next door, Mongolian buffet. Genghis. Now that sounds right up my street. Over there we've got Folk Brewers, I think that is called. Skills update and bow repairs, classic. Now here we have Ngata Kitipuku, the region headquarters of firefighters. Big respect to them, thank you very much for keeping us all safe. You do a wonderful job. And what's this? It's a little business area with Bloxham, Burnett and Oliver. That sounds like a law firm. Now I have to admit, I'm a little bit confused because Tauranga is a place that has all the makings of a wonderful city. It's sunny, it's vibrant, it's got some good food spots. But my word, the amount of empty units and empty shops that I've seen, it's crazy. I almost don't want to keep pointing them out. I feel like it's getting a bit weird. God, it's, it's, it's a little bit depressing. As I say, the only reason why I'm highlighting it is that normally, if you have an area that's a bit sort of run down, you expect it. But this city is gorgeous. Hi hey guys. Thanks brother, appreciate it. Yeah, it's a bit strange. As you can see, the people are great. The people are lovely. And there's a nice marina, there's a nice waterfront. Who knows, but worry not because Bobby's Fish Market, the best fish and chips allegedly in New Zealand, we go in there now, and here we are. Fresh fish market. Let's give it a go. Well, Bobby's Fish and Chips. Did it live up to the hype? In terms of the fish, yes it did. Definitely, that is the most succulent, well-battered, delicious fish I have potentially ever had in my entire life. Definitely the best I've ever had from a fish and chip place. However, people often tell me that I'm a little bit too kind, a bit too generous when I give my food reviews, so I will offer some constructive criticism. $3.10 for a little pot of tartar sauce. $3.10. I mean, that is daylight robbery. $3.10. For a, tiny, for a tiny bit of tartar sauce. Most places give that for free. They must be making an absolute fortune off that. I will say, as far as the fish goes, that's some of the best I've ever had in my life. Bobby's, well done. That is the bridge over which I shall be getting the bus very shortly. But wow, it's a gorgeous little place here. So what have I learned from my day in Tauranga? Well, I've got to be honest, I'm not going to lie, this place has made me feel a little bit sad. I'm just so shocked. It's, on the one hand, so beautiful, got so much potential, amazing people, lovely, beautifully designed city, gorgeous flooring with these sort of randomly stunning mosaics and sculptures. The place is a ghost town. I've never seen so many empty shops. I, I, I honestly, I didn't know what to expect, but it wasn't this. I think, however, with the amount of construction that's going on and the amount of potential this place has, hopefully once all that's cleared, a few more businesses are in here, Tauranga will be back to where it belongs, one of the greatest cities in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm saying that like I've been here before, I haven't, but I just know that this place has so much potential. It's gorgeous. It just needs a bit more love, a bit more investment, 
and a few more people to be here. Tauranga, you're beautiful. We just need some more people here. See you on the next one.